Black Lives Matter activists have turned on New York City leadership over what they claim is racist COVID-19 vaccine requirements. Mayor Bill de Blasio has aggressively pushed a vaccine passport system that bars entry to restaurants, gyms, and other public places without proof of a COVID-19 inoculation. So I'm, I, I, didn't, I didn't know this was going on in New York. I didn't know you can't go to restaurants. You can't go to the gym. You can't go any indoor dining places without at least getting one shot. I didn't know that. That's wild to me. That's crazy. But I digress. But with black residents lagging the overall population of vac- vaccinations, the rules are disproportionately affecting a minority group, usually in step with Democratic policies. The, sh- the schism came to a head on Monday when Black Lives Matter of Greater New York launched a protest outside of a restaurant where enforcement of the policy sparked a melee. Hank Newsom is a black activist and co-founder of Black Lives Matter Greater New York, one of many prominent Black Lives Matter organizations outside the hierarchy of the Black Lives Matter Global Network. He founded the group with his sister, Chernova Newsom. Both siblings spoke at the Monday protest where Hawk accused the city of using vaccination requirements to run cover for its racist ways and discrimination. Now, I can guarantee you this. De Blasio did not think that this was going to turn into a racist thing when he was implementing these vaccine mandates. He just... I can I can assure you he was not expecting this to take place. But anyways, Newsom spoke with a Washington Examiner about the difficulties vaccine hesitant blacks are facing in the era of medical passports. We are not anti-vaxxers. Some of us are vaccinated, Newsom said in, uh, of his group. It's an individual's choice. No one should be forced to put something in their body. And I am so curious. I am so curious. You see the way Nicki Minaj got destroyed, right, last week. You've seen it. I am so curious if Joy Reid will do a video about Nicki Minaj, I mean, about the Black Lives Matter chapter of New York making this statement. I wonder will they do it. Will Don Lemon make a statement about this situation? Will anybody in the mainstream media make a statement about these people's statements? I'm sure they won't. But it's just intriguing to me to hear this rhetoric. Not saying that Black Lives Matter wouldn't have this rhetoric, but... We are not anti-vaxxers. Some of us are vaccinated. It is an individual's choice. No one should be forced to put something in their body. And like I said, that goes against everything the mainstream media wants to be put out there. They want you to say, get it, no questions asked, not, don't even add, don't, don't ask me shit about it. Don't ask me if he does this, don't ask me if this is a sign, don't ask me shit about it, just get it. And now you got a prominent Black Lives Matter chapter in the biggest city in the world, I don't know if it's in the world, in the United States, at least the most populated with this stance right here. So anyways, uh, the number of black residents in New York City who have been vaccinated is drastically disproportionate to other racial groups. More than 70 percent of black people in New York City age 18 to 44 have not gotten the injection A statistics touted by Chinova at the Monday protest. There's a variety of reasons for the lag in, uh, in shots, including religious beliefs and distrust of the government. It's black people who have a natural distrust of the vaccine, Newsom said. He cited the Tuskegee syphilis study as an example of historic exploitation of black people by the U.S. medical community, despite the fact that vaccines are accessible to all people of all racial groups. This is what Adam 22 was talking about. Oh, y'all are so, what are y'all talking about? They're trying to shit you well, because they lied to you a couple of times. If you don't know about the Tuskegee syphilis study, go look it up. I don't remember the exact number of black people that they put inside the study, but the real controversy about it is once they actually found a a cure or a treatment for it, they did not allow the other people who were in the study to know that there was some type of uh, cure and treatment for it. They let them live out their days with the disease that they gave them. So that's another, that's another story. And then I felt like I think it was Bill Clinton finally came out and was like, you know, that was very wrong. The thing that we did. So that is where some hesitancy lies within the black community when it comes to these things. But anyways, uh, the Black Lives Matter group is advocating for the complete abolition of vaccine requirements, not only in the city, but also on a national level. I think in a perfect world, vaccine requirements should be business by business, but it could be a slippery slope. So the mandate should be removed completely, Newsom said, adding it's not going to be the white men in suits of Wall Street who are going to get stopped. There's uh, such hypocrisy in this thing. Uh, Newsom, a Baptist, said that what infuriates him the most is a lack of accommodation for an individual's spiritual objections to the vaccine. How dare they remove, remove religious exemptions? It's the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen, Newsom said. Now, the government had decided your God doesn't matter. I love God. Now, if you listen to this guy, 
He sounds like he speaks like a lot of, and I wouldn't assume that he's a conservative person, but if you listen to conservative people speak, especially about religious freedoms being stripped by the government over a long period of time where they're trying to eventually take God out of everything, he sounds just like them. So this just leads me to believe, like I say a million times, if you watch the podcast, you know, I feel like more of us have a lot more in common than we think. We just get bombarded with shit we see on the news, and so we end up hating a one side. Now, me, I don't, I'm in the middle. Like, these people do fucked up shit. These people do dumb shit. These people do smart shit. These people do smart shit. So I'm in the middle more than I really hate this side. Right? That's not me. But like I said, I feel like this certain issue, a lot of conservatives will agree with it, even though he might, you know, I don't, I don't know his politics. I don't know, but it's just interesting to see these these statements come out. So on Thursday, three black women were taped attacking the waitress at Carmine's Italian restaurant after which they were arrested and charged with instigating a fight. The woman alleged that the waitress used racial slurs against them that provoked them, but no recording of such an altercation has been made public thus far. The owner of Carmine's, Jeffrey Bank, denied that the hostess used racist language while asking for uh, proof of vaccination. Three women brutally attacked their hostess without provocation, got arrested and charged for their misconduct. And then, over the last several days, had their lawyer falsely and grossly misrepresent their acts of wanton violence in a cynical attempt to try to excuse the inexcusable, Banks said in a statement. Regarding a bank's explanation, protesters, including both Newsom and his sister, took the streets against the restaurant and the city's vaccine mandates. A Black Lives Matter protester was recorded shouting at a member of the community anti-crime group, Garden Angels, during the protest. The identified man who was wearing a black tank top and mask repeatedly shouted, suck dick in the face of patrol lead of the Garden Angels. Uh, following the death, eh, this, this article long as hell. So I don't know if I'm reading too much of it. This is the last part I'm reading. Newsom insisted to the Washington uh, Examiner that this group, or his group, isn't running to the right and critiquing the Democratic leadership in New York. I'm a follower of Malcolm X, Newsom said, calling the historic black activist the greatest civil rights leader in, leader in U.S. history. Malcolm X didn't trust the Republicans, but he also didn't trust the Democrats. Do we agree with the right? No. He continued adding that he cannot align with the GOP because he believes their platform is built around the oppression of black people. However, Newsom believes that black communities are being intentionally left out of discussions about vaccine hesitancy by left-wing politicians. It fits a narrative to say crazy Trumpsters are the only ones who don't want to, to take the vaccine, Newsom said. Yeah, that's what like, that's what I'm saying. Like, statistically, is I remember I watched a video where someone said it was racist for pe someone to bring up. I think this is what it was. <clears throat> the Texas, like under I don't know what the under governor is called in Texas, but like the lieutenant governor, I think his name is. He made a statement that most people that are unvaccinated in Texas are minorities and black people. Statistically, yeah, that's correct. Like, obviously, the people in the rural parts, like the white people in the rural areas. They're also highly numbered of unvaccinated, but by population to to percentages, black people are the most people that are not vaccinated. As you see in New York as well, 70% of black people in the ages of 18 to 44 in New York, one of the largest, like I said, most populated places in the world, or at least in the country, are not vaccinated as well. It's not a racist thing, it's just what it is. But if you look at politicians on the news, they will make you believe that it was just a bunch of Trump people who are not vaccinated, even when I hear Howard Stern saying they hope that you would just go die. So to those 70% 70, 70 of people that are 18 to 44, just if you get COVID, just go and die. He's talking to 70% of the New York black population. But to be fair, like I brought up earlier, the statistics of those people dying is very low compared to like older people above 50. But regardless, there's more people that these people should be talking about rather than just trying to make it a, a Trump conspiracy theory Theorists, people, QAnon people are the only ones that are unvaccinated when clearly we see here that they're not.